Lee Conner slammed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as Annie's horribilis. Ex-Great Britain adviser to the U.S. House of Representatives Foreign Affairs Committee claimed that the U.S. has no patience for the Sussexes anymore after they've suffered multiple failures. The royal pair have faced criticism over their public endeavors since quitting their roles within the royal family and venturing across the pond in 2020. Speaking to CBN America, Cohen said, They say that in 1992 Queen Elizabeth experienced an Annus Horribilis, and I believe that 2023 is the Sussex's Annus Horribilis. The Sussexes have had failure after failure and setback after setback. The first failure, of course, was that they failed to harm the monarchy and the royal family. Americans have no appetite for what the Sussexes are selling. 2023 was Sussex's Annus Horribilis, and 2024 will be no different, so the popularity in the United States continues to plunge. Harry and Meghan have undertaken a lot of projects since they moved to the U.S., but some have fallen through. At an appearance at Variety magazine's Power of Women events in November, though, Meghan teased that she and Harry have a big upcoming announcement. At the time, she said, we have so many exciting things on the slate. I can't wait until we can announce them. We're really just proud of what we're creating, and my husband is loving it too. During the appearance, the Duchess of Sussex discussed her past work on Suits, the legal drama she starred in, which has recently broken records on the streaming platform Netflix. Meghan said it was great to work on, however, Meghan was only a supporting character in the movie. In addition, she acted in some commercials as an amateur actress, and she stopped acting a long time ago. How can she return to this industry now? Recently, an old video resurfaced and went viral again, showing Markle starring in an advertisement for the beloved chip brand Tostitos a little over a decade ago, before many of us knew who she really was. In the 32-second spot, Markle plays a shopper in a grocery store examining snacks for a party she's evidently hosting. Viewers get a glimpse into her mind while she looks for the perfect munchie. The plot of the 2000s Tostitos ad is simple and relatable, but the ad director was quite surprised that even though Megan was 27 years old at that time and had acting experience, she couldn't voice a basic part in this advertisement. She was speaking in an almost out-of-breath voice to sound hot, and all the subtle moaning in between each word, like if it was for an adult commercial. Later, the crew had to replace her skanky voice with a more appropriate voiceover. Megan's performance was still not appreciated and was criticized by viewers as boring and unimpressive. She couldn't even act well in the freaking commercial that has zero speaking lines. Throughout the advertisement, Meghan Markle's inner monologue assesses the alternatives of two distinct corn ship brands, something many consumers may do with so many options available to them. First, she picks up a brown bag of store brand corn chips and reads the nutrition label on the back of the packaging. 13 Ingredients Disgusted, she puts the store brand bag back on the shelf and grabs a blue bag of Tostitos scoops, inspecting the much shorter ingredients list. White corn, vegetable oil, and salt. Yeah, three ingredients is good, she satisfyingly ponders as she tosses the bag into her cart as the tagline surprisingly simple comes into view.